A sailor spots a small island on the horizon from the top of a 40-foot mast. How far is it to the island? Use 3,950, that should be miles, sorry about that, for the radius of the Earth. So how are you going to do that? Well, it would be helpful if you could draw a picture. Now, I find these a lot more difficult to draw because we're talking about the Earth, so you've kind of got this sphere happening, which, of course, you know, mine's always looking funky. Now, if you're at the equator, we see that's the equator, so we've got to draw that line. And it says that the radius is going to be 3950. So what you need to do is you've got to figure out, okay, so I've got my mast, so I'm going to have to have, see, this is where my circle's not very awesome. So I've got my triangle here, and then I'm going to have to have another one that comes over here that hits an arc and comes down. So the height of the mast is 40 feet. We know that's a right triangle, and the one over here is a right triangle. So what I need to know is how far away is my island? Well, how are we going to do that? That means we're going to have to find the arc length, right? So if I need to find out how far away an island is, I'm going to have to get an arc length. Well, how do I find the arc length? Well, if you remember, it's S equals alpha times the radius. Now remember, alpha has to be in radians, so you might make a note that this has to be in radians. Okay, so I've got that. So now what am I going to do? Well, I need to see, hmm, what can I find? Well, everything's got to be in the same units, right? So I've got a 40-foot mast, and I've got my radius in miles. So, oh, you know, I probably need to get some miles happening. So if I say there's 40 feet, let's go ahead and convert that to miles. And if you remember, in one mile, there are 5,280 feet. And so your feet cancel, and you're left with miles. So I'm going to reduce that fraction, so that's going to be 1 over oh, nope, 1320 miles. Okay, so that's helpful, right? Now, how in the world are you going to find the hypotenuse? Well, if I'm going to find the hypotenuse to the island, it's going to be different than just the radius of the Earth, correct? So if I'm doing that, then my hypotenuse... I'm going to have to actually find, well, there's the radius. And then I'm going to need to add to that what I just found for my mass. Mast. So that's going to be 40 over, or actually I reduced it, so let's do the reduced. 1 over 1320. Okay, that's great. So what exactly does that do to help me? Well, that helps me for finding alpha, right? Because I've got to find out what alpha is to use it in this equation to find the arc length. So I know that alpha is going to equal the inverse cosine of, now remember you've got the 3950 over what we just found, which is the hypotenuse, the 3950 plus 1 over 1320. So remember, we're comparing the two triangles. That's the whole purpose here. So I'm actually going to do this awesome calculation. And when I do it, I get that alpha is approximately 0 0.1122. Now, the problem we have is that's not in radians. Remember, I made sure and told you to remember to do it in radians. So we need to actually convert this to radians. So we're going to get pi over 180. And when I do that, I get 0 0.00196. Okay, so we've got alpha. We know the radius. We still need to find the arc length. So as much as I hate to say it, we're not finished yet. So we've got S equals. We just found alpha. We know the radius. Remember, that was provided to you for the Earth. So that's 3950. I'm going to do the calculation on the calculator and I come up with 7.736, which is going to be approximately 7.7 .7 miles. Now remember, it's in miles because we converted everything to begin with over here to miles.